In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the SJCam SJ4000 Wi-Fi action camera. So the setup will depend completely on how you plan to use it. There is a plastic layer over here. I'm going to remove that. There you go. Like I said, it will depend completely on your preference and how you plan to use this. But I'm going to show you the setup menu of this particular camera, how to access it and what the different options are. So first you have to start the camera as, as you will know that most of these action cameras have more than one power button so that you can you know uh, press record from whichever angle is convenient for you. Generally the idea is that you fix it on top of a moving object and then you know let it roll. So I'm going to turn it on using this particular power button. See it's, it's written power, there's a power sign and mode written over here. And the moment I do that, I got a display. It's saying SJ4000 as you can see. And this is the display. I'm going to put a subject over here so that it's not completely empty. So this bracket will do right over here, this particular mount. So you will notice that it's this showing a time code over here and the battery charge is full and it's also saying three minutes. So if I press this button now, it will start recording. But I don't have a I don't have an SD card installed, unfortunately. So when I click on it, it will say please insert card. Makes sense. Now, if I press the front button once, it will take me to the photography mode. As you, as you will notice, there is a 12 megapixel sign right over here. This particular action camera carries a 12 megapixel sensor, as I have mentioned earlier. If I press it again, it will start recording. But as, as you know, we don't have a card, so it's not going to do that. If I press it a third time, it takes you, it takes you to the setup menu. Here you can see it. It's uh, the setup and... I will see how to control it. Okay, now there are these uh, these directional buttons on the side. You can use these buttons to navigate through the menu, like so. At the very top, you have resolution. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. How do I click? So I'm going to click on OK button over here. And there you can see, you can now change all the resolution of this camera. It says 2K 40fps, it's also 4K 30fps, sorry, it says 2K 30fps, there's also a 4K, 4K 30fps option along with, the, along with the full HD 30fps and a 720p 60fps option. Okay, let's stick to 1080 30fps for the time being. There's a loop recording option, if you click on it, it's, you can see it's, it will record for 3 minutes or 5 minutes or even 10 minutes. I'm going to switch it off for now. This is the video codec section and it's H.264. You can also switch between H.264 and H.265. H.264 is basically your standard MP4 format. There's a field of view option over here as well. So you have off, you have wide, middle and narrow. So let's see what these look like. If I click on narrow and I go back to the camera, there you can see this is a very narrow perspective that it's showing right now. I'm going to change the perspective again to say wide. How do I do that? And here I am, I'll go back to FOV and click on OK. And I'll click on wide and I'm going back to the camera. As you can see, it's much wider now. So that's how you change the uh, FOV of this particular camera. Also notice that ever since I've changed it to 1080p, it's showing 1080p right on top. I'll go back to the menu once again and let's see what else we, we have. There is uh, WDR, motion detection, audio, timestamp, TV out, TV mode, OST mode, video lapse. This should be interesting. Over here, there's a one second, two second and a five second option. So these are the different uh, time lapses that you can shoot. Let's select five seconds. Actually, I should be switching it off. Let's switch it off. And what other... So what other options now we are at the image size option so basically this is for your photography highest is 12 uh, is 12 megapixel and there's also 10 megapixel 8 megapixel and 5 megapixel sensors that you can use let's stick to 12 megapixel for the while we have a quality option as well it's fine normal and medium we have a white balance option which is very important and this is a great option because now you can change it to some other presets like for instance I switched it to daylight if I take a look this is what it looks like it's not bad I, that's not bad at all do we have anything else color ISO 
and you can change the ISO as well. Okay, a lot of options here. There is TV option, and there's underwater shooting option, which is off right now. There's also a photo lapse option. It uh, comes with a 3 second burst, a 5 second burst and a 10 second burst. There's also an additional burst mode, that's also great. And a dash cam mode as well for when you want to use it on a car, with a car driver. So once you have decided what you're going to do now, you get the casing and you put the camera inside. Like so. And then, now basically you're good to go. You can mount it on any surface, any moving surface or otherwise. Press on record, like so. And it will start recording. And that's how you set up the SJ4000 Wi-Fi Action Camera. Thank you for watching.